concept of the day is that we are going to follow a patient all the way through the different departments. And our patient is going to be Ralph Ralpherson, just in case you didn't know where you were. This, so all of the pictures of Ralph Ralpherson are modelled by Louis, who's um, Tony, our lovely dog, sort of one of our dental nurses. Um, it's her dog. And then <laughs> he's very well. He is not... So what he's going to present with is a hemo abdomen. He is not going to actually have a hemo abdomen. He's very well. He's very young. He's very healthy. At the Ralph, what we do is every time we do a handover of our patients, we either do an ISPAR handover um, or, we do a, or we do an IBRAC handover to the next one. So I'm just going to run through this um, in a handover way, just like we would do with any patient, so that you can sort of follow the journey through and, and make sure that, you, that we do a consistent handover with him. So we identify, we identify our patient, we describe the situation, we run through a relevant background, we talk about the overall assessment of the patient's demeanour and then we make any requests we want to do going forward. The other handover that we do for our patients in rounds is an IBOAC, um, which is a slightly shorter, more condensed patient background where we know, um, we, you assume that everyone in the room has at least a certain level of knowledge about the patient that you're talking about. Um, we again, every time, go through patient name, signalment, we want to make sure that the patient we're talking about is the right patient, um, that we all know exactly who we're talking about. We get a lot of patients through that maybe have the same name, maybe a uh, similar. We all have a sort of um, Bella, the black Labrador. Um, she's here and we also have a Bella um, who has a different surname and they are there in another kennel. Um, so we just want to make sure that we get the right patient. Um, a background of the patient again, just to make sure that everyone in the room is up to date. Um, any updates on previous days, assuming that most people know a, a decent amount of knowledge about our patient. Um, and then another assessment. Um, and then anything to consider for the next shift. Have they eaten? Do they have a particular thing they want to do? Do we need to work out a new pain relief plan, etc.? So the patient scenario introduction. Identify the patient. The patient is Ralph Ralpherson. <coughs> He is an eight-year-old, male neutered, 30 kilo golden retriever, and the carers are coming straight down from the referring veterinary practice. Some of this is going to paint a referring <laughs> veterinary practice in a very small light, but what I didn't want to do was go into too much detail um, and then ruin the rest of the presentation going forward. So we're going to presume that just a, a very brief overview has been done, but most of the time they do come with a, a much better workup than this. So the situation, he is an emergency referral. He's presented to the referring veterinary practice, collapsed, tachycardic, and they are concerned about a hemorrhage for him. Um, the background to this, the referring veterinary his practice history states that he is a well-controlled diabetic, that he's on no other meds, and that the collapse is not due to the diabetes. The assessment of him required is that an emergency triage is required on arrival, um, and he'll go straight into our ICU department and then the request for him is that can a whole room of nurses follow him um, so basically the idea is now that we'll go through all the different departments and we'll run through exactly what would happen to him um, were he to come into our practice in this sort of a situation. Mm -hmm.